In the first question of this exercise, we have to use suitable identities to find each of the given products. So let's start with the first one. So the first product is x plus 4 times x plus 10. So this is of the form x plus a x plus b. So we will use the identity for x plus a x plus b, which is x square plus a plus b x plus a b. So we'll have x square plus a plus b so 4 plus 10 which is 14 so plus 14 x plus a into b so 4 into 10 that's 40 so x square plus 14 x plus 40 is the answer to the first one again in the second one it's based on the same identity so we have x plus 8 x minus 10 so in this case the values of a and b are 8 and minus 10 so i will have x square a plus b will be minus 2 in this case so minus 2x a b will be minus 80 so minus 80 okay and uh, just so that you are clear i am using the identity x plus a x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b times x plus a b this is what i am using for the first two parts in the third part i have 3x plus 4 and 3x minus 5 so again the first part of each factor is the same 3x and 3x and then i have 4 and minus 5 so this is again of the form x plus a x plus b the difference being that in this case instead of x we have 3x so what will i have so i will have uh, x square which is 3x whole square in this case so 9x square uh, then we have a plus b so 4 plus minus 5 that's minus 1 minus a plus b times x so times 3x and then a b so 4 into minus 5 is minus 20 so this is the product in the third part in the fourth part i have um, y square plus 3 by 2 and y square minus 3 by 2 this is the product that i have to calculate now this is of the form x plus a x minus a or x plus y x minus y uh, and that leads to a difference of two squares so the identity i'm going to use in this case is x plus y x minus y is equal to x square minus y square so the difference of the squares so in this case i will have y square plus 3 by 2 y square minus 3 by 2 will lead to y square square so that's y to the 4 minus the square of 3 by 2 so that's minus 9 by 4 so that's the product in the fourth part in the fifth part i have 3 minus 2x times 3 plus 2x so again this is of the form x plus y x minus y so in this case the product will be 3 square so that's 9 minus 2x square so that's 4x square so this is the product in the fifth part and that completes question one let's go to question two to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers